Hello my lovely friends. Welcome back to Two Wanderers, your ultimate travel buddy on YouTube. In case you haven't caught our latest adventure in Jaisalmer, be, be sure to check it out if you don't want to miss it. Today, get ready to join us to explore the vibrant city of Jodhpur. We have got some fantastic place to show you along with the detailed itinerary to make your journey even more exciting. So let's dive into the beauty of Jodhpur together. Our Jodhpur journey kicked off with a beautiful sunrise and guess what? We are lucky enough to witness it from our cozy room, nestled just below the majestic Maharangar fort. Tachi of Rajodha stands proudly on a small hill between Jashwantada and Mahangar Fort. It serves as a tribute to the founder of this beautiful city. This statue portrays Rajodha ji seated on a horse, gesturing towards the court symbolizing his enduring legacy. Once you reach there, I bet you will capture memorable selfies against the stunning backdrop of Jodhpur skyline and the iconic fort. Jashwantada Jashwantada is often called as Taj Mahal of Marwar and was built in the memory of Maharaja Jaswant Singh II by his son Maharaja Sardar Singh in 1906. The garden around Jaswantara is quite attractive with lush green lawns and colourful flowers. This is mainly attracted to tourists because of its pleasing design, elaborate carvings and is made from white marble. It is quite beautiful. This monument is the true representation of traditional Rajasthani architecture and about the timing, it is open from 9 am to 5 pm every day and the entry fee is just 30 rupees for Indians and 50 rupees for foreigners. If you want to take a guide along with you, you just need to pay additional 100 rupees for 4 members. You are now looking at the beautiful Meherangad Fort. Meherangad means the Fort of the Sun. Located at the height of 400 feet on a straight standing rock, this fort was built by Rao Jodha in 1459. The fort wall extends up to 10 kilometers and the height extends up to 120 feet. The fort has a series of seven gates built to honor an event or victory. This is the only fort with a lift. One may opt to take the lift to reach the 12th floor or simply walk to see the magnificent fort. The fort complex has a museum, several palace rooms and temples. At the entrance, you can enjoy traditional folk music and dance performances. Within the fort, there's a vibrant market selling Rajasthani handicrafts and souvenirs. The best time to visit fort is during winters and the entry timings are from 9 am to 5 pm. The best part is it's open throughout the year and on all days of the year. That means there are no closed days for tourists in the Meherangad Fort. And if you are visiting this fort on May 12th, the Meherangad Fort entry is free being Jodhpur Foundation Day. Otherwise, the entry fee would be 100 rupees per person and 50 rupees for the lift. Please note the lift facility is available only for one way. Since the entire fort is spread across an area of 5 square kilometer, you would need at least 3 to 4 hours to enjoy your Meherangad fort visit and explore the places with it. Blue City Jodhpur Firstly, we would like to let you know that not the entire Jodhpur is blue. Only the old town area near the Mahangar fort has buildings are painted in blue. While exploring the streets of Blue City, we went navigating the narrow streets only to find ourselves happily lost and surprisingly surrounded by less blue than we expected. If you have enough time and enjoy capturing the pictures or reels against a blue black drop, we recommend paying a visit. However, if your time is limited and not much in photography, we suggest considering other destination instead. Have you wandered through these narrow streets? Share your experience in common. Mandur Garden is located around 9 kilometers away from Jodhpur. 
which was once the ruling seat of the Pratyahara dynasty. The garden houses the famous Hall of Heroes and the Temple of 300 million gods. The Hall of Heroes is dedicated to Rajput folk heroes and features 16 statues of Rajput folk heroes from a single rock while the temple of 300 million gods is dedicated to various Hindu gods. The highlight of the garden is the gorgeous Chernotaps or devils that can be found spread all across the Mandor gardens. This garden also has a government museum which is full of artifacts and old relics. Please note that this museum is closed on Fridays. One can also witness the light and sound show at Mandor garden which narrates the rich history associated with Mandor and the rulers of Jodhpur. There are two shows, one at 6.30 pm and the other at 7 pm, one in Hindi and the other in English respectively. The entry ticket fee for Mando Garden is Rs 20, the government museum ticket fee is Rs 50, while the light and sound show is only for 10 rupees per person. We recommend you to visit this place during the evening hours when the garden is entirely lit up and is beautiful to watch. It. Turjika Jalra Back in 1740, Turjika Jalra, known as a stepwell of Jodhpur, stands as a remarkable example of Jodhpur's traditional water management systems. Today, it is a popular spot for both locals and tourists to find joy in swimming and diving from high platform, while many couples choose this location for pre-wedding shoots. Many shops, restaurants and cafe actually popped up after this place attracts many tourists. This step well is just a few meters away from historical clock tower. Clock Tower Built by Maharaja Sharda Singh, the clock tower is also known as Ghantagar. It is in the very heart of Sardar market. You can get anything and everything at reasonable price only if you are good at bargaining. For an entry of just 20 rupees, you can climb up the tower and treat yourself to the mesmerizing view of Sardar Market and majestic Mahangar Fort. Coming back to the clock tower, this person, Muhammad Iqbal, he is the person behind the ticking of the clock. He and his father are maintaining the clock tower for nearly 50 years since 1968 and followed by his son. Now let's hear it from Muhammad Iqbal, the man himself talking about the mechanism. ये ना गड़ी ये चार खला के फोर साइड हाँ हाँ और गड़ी आई है लंदन और जो तुम नाइन डिलीवर का और ये पहले ये ये चार पीस और चावी है हाँ ये चावी हाँ चावी किधर ये देखो इधर देख लिया चावी की ले लिया ये <laughs> ठीक <laughs> 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 Umayt Bhavan Palace in Jodhpur was built by Maharaja Umayt Singh to help villages during droughts. It is now partly a museum where you can see the royal family's treasure and stuffed animals. Not to miss the collection of vintage cars won by the Maharajas. The palace also has a luxurious hotel managed by Taj Guru. Maharaja Gaj Singh too and his family still lives here, so you may get a chance to meet them when you visit. We reached the end of Jodhpur journey. Hope you enjoyed the journey as much as we did. Your feedback and suggestions are invaluable to us, so feel free to drop them in the comments below. 
thanks a ton for watching if you haven't subscribed yet do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon for notification stay tuned for more exciting travel journey until then wonder well and we will catch you in our next exploration